Hey everyone and welcome on board in Sampede. Race one of the season, an amazing qualifying P5. Race didn't go to plan, but let's get uh, together for the best moment of the race. So here we are, last uh, last corner. Everyone is packed up, ready for uh, the race start. It's, it's hard to judge exactly where you want to go and where you want to be. And you see, Paro leaves a bit of a gap. I am I'm a, a little bit behind, and there I got a little bit caught. A coat, I must say, on, on the restart. We've been a little bit. So I'm here on the inside, quite protecting, everyone's going on the left and I'm a bit conservative into turn one and I see a couple of guys diving in um, and really trying to, to send it. So I had to, open the, I had to open the door, lost a couple of spots. I was not very happy with my start. I was a little bit too cautious uh, and some guys were absolutely not cautious at all. So then it's about settling in, uh, making sure that no one else passes you, getting the tires uh, warm up and up to temp. Uh, without trying to oversleep them too much. Uh, it's, it's very important at the beginning of a stint to look after the tires. So 30 laps down the road, you, uh, you have a really good, uh, you have a really good uh, balance on the car. So it, it's key. I don't want to be too close to the guy in front of me. I don't want to be too, I don't want the guy behind me to be too close neither. Uh, already thinking about your fuel number and your tire strategy and making sure the bow is the balance and, and saving the fuel and everything and as I said just not pushing too hard. Uh, we can see in front of me that uh, Renus VK is pushing really hard, big snap there. So I knew that he was going to be super aggressive early in the stint and maybe would pay the price a little bit later on uh, which would come to um, which would come to uh, my uh, my side. Um, but car balance felt really good at the start of the race, maybe a little bit on the understeer side but that's always something we can adjust. We have the front and rear anti roll bars on both uh, on each side of the cockpit so we can change the roll stiffness of the front and the rear of the car and making sure that during the run the, the car behaves exactly the, want you, the way you want it to be uh, which is very different from uh, other categories like Formula 1 where you don't have that option. So here we are later in the stint and you can see that I'm, I'm blocked behind Renus VK. Uh, he's starting to struggle with his tire whilst I'm actually very good on tires. I don't have any issue. I felt really good in the car. I felt like we had a, we had a very very good balance but Sadly, St. Pete, I love the track in St. Pete, but sadly the, the track is very hard to pass. We have the main straight, which is uh, which is an, air, an airport, um, Albert Witted Airport, and those big painting marks that you can see on, on the tarmac in, in the main straight are very, very slippery. So if you go offline a little bit inside, trying to pass someone, you uh, you, you very easily lock the tires and make a mistake. So it's, it's a really cool track. It's really nice. I felt really good in the car, but I was just a little bit frustrated that you couldn't really have any pass uh, on track which uh, which was tough uh, which was tough especially when you know you have such a great car underneath you so here we go under yellow caution the pits are closed for a couple of laps and then they open the pit so everyone is trying to you know open a gap and then make sure that you come in hard into the pit so it's always a key moment uh, i'm trying to leave here a little bit of a gap and then making sure that i've got a good exit I'm, and i'm good on the mark here we go you, you see how close i get to the car in front of me and then it's all about finding your pits pit lane or you spot on the pit lane you can see there's a lot of cars every team is out there and for me this year is a new team so I'm expecting I'm, I'm expecting the yellow colors but they're not yellow anymore so no that I've got to get used to that uh, pit stop the tires actually went really well um, which I was very happy with but then we had to wait a long time for the fuel and that uh, that cost us uh, quite a lot of spot I also struggled to engage first gear for some reason first gear wouldn't wouldn't engage and you can see that Renus VK is still in front of me and I couldn't pass him and then we got passed by uh, Scott Dixon and some other guys so we actually lost quite a fair bit of position in the pit which uh, which is tough on, on track like St. Pete where you know passing is so hard on track it's all about strategy it's all about making sure your pit stop is fast and you do it at the right time and you know we pitted and we had a lot a few left so it was uh, kind of annoying but uh, hey it is what it is and uh, we had to do the the work on track now. So here we go, restart. Uh, we're, on, we're on a green tire, which is the, the soft tire. Um, I'm not having a great restart here. I, sh I messed up the throttle application. I was too careful. And then Renus VK is gonna send it on the inside to turn one. So for me, at that point, it's thinking, okay, they're on cold tires, they're gonna, over they're gonna break late and they may run wide, which could open an opportunity for me. Sadly, Scott Dixon is a very experienced, a very talented driver, and he didn't, he just break at the right point and that didn't open for me an opportunity. Uh, I tried it here again in turn four, but I was just too far from him. So again, I think in St. Pete, I really wanted to finish the race. I got a little bit too too nice and too conservative. 
at that part of the race and uh, that didn't really allow me to jump forward and make a good step forward. Uh, that's gonna be my last restart of the race before the gearbox breaks. Uh, again, you know, trying to get a good restart, trying to get the momentum. Uh, that's gonna be the last stint of the race. So we know it's important to be there and, and to move forward. Uh, pretty, pretty decent restart, a bit of a snap, uh, didn't help much and then the gearbox went so as a whole i think st peter was very positive we had really good pace fast six with the car first time for with the team uh with some good tire change i think we can improve on some of the pit stop uh, we had a really good car balance in the race it was very very happy with it obviously sadly the gearbox let us down at the end but anyway uh a very good way to start a new season with a new team well guys thanks for watching thanks for uh, your inputs please subscribe like as always and i'm gonna try to come back to you a little bit more often and make sure that we have fun together